What's going on guys? Welcome to another episode of Smash JT. I promised myself I would get away from this drama crap and talk about video games, which is why I started doing this YouTube thing in the first place. But unfortunately, there are some people in the gaming community that just, that don't know how to act professionally. And one of those people is Mike Mullis. His name he goes by on Twitter for his channel, The Original Next Level Gaming. Me and Mike have had our run-ins recently where Mike made videos about Cornhole and I made a video about Mike's video talking about Cornhole. And I want to make sure that I'm absolutely clear on this. My video about Cornhole was just that. Anything Mike tried to extract out of that is on mic. There is nothing that I said, did, inferred, whatever you want to say in the court of law of mic that I implied anything other than giving my review of Cornhole. But the fallout from that video was pretty brutal. Mike had a meltdown on Twitter, told me that I was threatening him, harassing him, and that because I made the video, I am going to, in his words, I effed around and I'm about to find out, which I don't know about you guys, kind of sounds like a threat to me. <laughs> but, but regardless of that, after Mike's epic meltdown, he decided to delete all those tweets the following day and then try to pretend like he said nothing wrong against me and try to act like the more professional person whatever floats your boat, Mike. I'm I'm just here to make videos about video games. That's why I do this channel. But when someone reached out to me sharing an image that they just got a copyright strike from you, taking down their video about Cornhole, I have to speak up. This is a PSA to the entire retro gaming and hell, the whole YouTube community in general. When someone is a false flagger, they need to be called out. And I don't mean to be harassing you, Mike, because that's what you're going to twist my words into, because that's what you always do. No, how you're acting is unacceptable, and I'm calling your ass out. You false flagged somebody because you didn't like them making a video about cornhole. You took their video down because your kids were in your original video. Your original video was then commented on for the video of the video game, not the kids. And this channel that reached out to me is a smaller channel, someone that doesn't have a voice on this platform like I do, and I'm speaking up for them. They asked me not to share their name, they asked me not to share their info, but they said, I can speak about this and I can confirm, I can show this screenshot to you guys to prove it that this actually happened. Now, Mike was going on a rampage on Twitter, threatening me with some sort of action. I don't know if it was legal. I don't know if it was calling my job. I don't know, I don't know what his angle was. It's very, very secretive about it. But as I said to Mike in our Twitter conversation, if, if you want to like, resolve the situation, all you gotta do is reach out and have a conversation, not have an epic meltdown on Twitter for everyone to see how absolutely insane you are as a human being. At least that's my perspective after seeing what you said and what you did. Everyone's entitled to their own opinion, which is what this is. What you did to this specific YouTuber is not an opinion, it's an action against them. One that is a false flag because you are saying they're not allowed to be critical of a video game that you covered. You are controlling a narrative that is not yours to control. And if you don't want your kids in a video, don't put your kids in a video. That sounds so remedial that it's hard to almost say it, but... Clearly, you need someone to hit you over the head with the proverbial tack hammer because you don't understand that people can be transformative with a video and comment on videos and, and give their opinions about things. What you are doing is unacceptable. The entire YouTube community stands against people like you. You do not do what you did. 
This person did not re-upload your video. They're not trying to make money off of you, dude. They're just trying to talk about cornhole. You are making this about yourself or your kids or whatever your brain is telling you to make this about. But the reality is you have no right to do what you did. And I told this person, I told them to fight it. And they said, it's not worth it to me. I'm a nobody. I just deleted the video. So I hope you're happy, Mike. You took down someone's hard work video because you didn't want someone else to comment on cornhole. You haven't done anything to me yet. Maybe that's because I did you the courtesy of blurring out every possible image I could of your kids. It was a courtesy. I was not required to do that. There are no laws in place stopping that. You, you were plastering on Twitter that there are laws against other people posting kids online. No, dude, those laws are against you. You need to get authorization from your own kids. And if they're okay with that, then you put them online. Then it's fair use for anyone to talk about whatever it is they want to talk about in the video. I'm not a lawyer. I'm not anyone that knows the specifics of it, but people who do know have reached out to me and told me that I have absolutely nothing to worry about. I did nothing wrong. And again, as a courtesy, I blurred the images of your children because from one father to another, if, if I accidentally put my kids in a video somehow or someone dug up a really old video of mine and I didn't, I didn't like the context. Uh, you know, I, I would handle it a hell of a lot different than you did. I would reach out to them directly in a DM. I, I would, first off, because you have me blocked, I would have unblocked me if I were you. And I would have said, hey man, uh, just want to reach out. I, I didn't appreciate the video with my kids in it because of whatever screwed up reason you have in your head to say that. Um, I'd really appreciate it if, if you could blur the kids' images out of the video because you didn't make the video about the kids. I know you didn't. You, you didn't say anything about the kids. I know you didn't. You even said something in your video saying it has nothing to do with your kids. So you, you even like made it clear to your viewers that this was strictly about cornhole and that's where you left it. I would appreciate it if you blurred the kids' images. And I'd be like, yeah, you know, from one dad to another. Okay, man, that's, that's how you feel about it. Sure, I would be happy to accommodate you. But what did you do with me? You threatened some sort of action that I'm going to find out what I did because I dared comment on an Intellivision Amigo video about cornhole. About cornhole. And you, you brought up all these other things that I didn't say. You implied things that I didn't imply. You were commenting on stuff your kids were saying that I took out of it that... I mean, I didn't even listen to your kids. I, I literally watched the video on mute, dude, because I didn't want anything to do with your kids. I made sure I have no audio of them, nothing. And I made sure there's nothing you could do to me. And you still threatened me. And then you tried to air me out on social media to make me out to be the bad guy, which is so beyond screwed up, I don't even know what to say. And I was gonna leave it at that. I really was. I was like, you know what? There's just some people in this world that are just really messed up in the head and live and let live, I guess. We we clashed, we bumped heads, and you know what? We, we moved on with our lives. And then I see this, and I'm like, you know I can't stay silent on this, Mike. You know. You know I gotta air you out for what a horrible human being you are to take this kind of action against a smaller channel that is not within your right. That is false flagging. You can't flag a channel just cause you don't like what they're commenting on. That's the whole thing on YouTube. If someone wants to upload this video and comment on me commenting on you, that's well within their rights. That's what YouTube is. That's, that's literally a commentary community built on that. You clearly are living in a bubble, a tiny little bubble in the corners of the internet that, that think you're in this safe space that no one can touch you. You come online, you put it out there, you expose yourself for everyone else to, to criticize or in your, in your words, harass you. It's, it's not harassment, man. It's just people commenting on a video game. I don't know how else to say that. And by the way, I know you're gonna try to twist this video into harassing you. 
No, this is not harassment either. This is me commenting on a really shitty situation that you created because you can't handle what you put out there on the internet. That's on you. Own it.